Hello everybody, this is Jaron from MarineAndReef.com. Today we're doing a spotlight on the new LED lights we brought in from Zetlight. We're going to tell you about Zetlight as a company and what they bring to the table, as well as their individual light lines to help you identify which one can work for your aquarium. Now, Zetlight is a Chinese-based company that makes very nice high-end LED lights. So what this really helps is it helps bring a product that's very high quality at an affordable price. So these lights are assembled in China, but they actually use U.S. manufactured Cree LEDs, just like the very high-end LED lights made in the U.S. And they have as many colors, sometimes more colors, as well as really intuitive apps, just like all the U.S. lights, but they're at a great price point. So these are really a great option for somebody looking for the features that come in some of the very, very high dollar lights at a more moderate price that's acceptable to most people. So we're going to go over the individual light lines that Zetlight makes to help you make a decision as to which one could be right for you. So first off, Zetlight makes strip lights. Their strip lights are called their Lancia line, and they make these in a few versions. The Lancia LED lights come in a Wi-Fi version and in a manual version. The manual version does have some dimming built in, but it's with sliders rather than with the app sliders that you would use on your phone and then they come in both saltwater and freshwater versions. These lights are excellent for smaller tanks like this little rimless aqua top here, especially because the legs on the end of the lights have a wide variety of adjustment. So as we're noticing more and more of these rimless tanks becoming popular, some of them will have lengths like 23 and 3 quarters inches like this aqua top. There's not many lights that fit that well, but the adjustability of the legs on these really allow you to get it exactly how you need it to fit onto these rimless tanks. Now the app control lights do come with one or two channels of control um, where you can con control the white and blue lights and then the larger versions of the three and four foot lights are also going to have four channels of control so that way you can control the white lights, the blue lights, as well as some of the specific colors such as your warm red colors and your ultraviolet colors. That'll allow you to tailor the light to your aesthetics as far as how you want it to look and also put that dawn dusk effect as it dims throughout the day. Again, great for small tanks like this. Generally, the marine lights are going to be good for soft corals to hardy LPS corals, but not anything super light demanding. And the planted tank lights are actually a very, very nice light for pretty much anyone looking for a planted aquarium. Now, Zet Light also makes some beefier, more high end lights. The Zetlight UFO light is Zetlight's pendant light. So this is a 90 watt pendant light. It's designed to light a 24 inch cube. So a tank measuring 24 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches. That's a standard 60 gallon tank. And if you had an extended tank that's four feet long, you would use two. If you had a six foot tank, you would use three. And you can keep on chaining them together. These lights do have Wi-Fi built in that'll let you tune the individual color spectrums. And they're really great because they use a single lens that blends the LED lights together. So that way you're not gonna get what we often call the disco effect, which is a little bit of red, a little bit of green, a little bit of white. They're very well blended, just like some of the higher end lights, but at a much more reasonable price point. Another thing people like about this light in particular is the moonlight is very good. Many people describe the moonlight on a lot of LED lights, even very expensive ones, as just too bright and not good enough. This actually does give a very nice moonlight effect. The rim of the light lights up blue, and it gives a nice dim blue glow to the aquarium at night. Now my favorite of all the new Zep light lights are the Q Maven lights, which is this one here in this box. The Q Maven lights are a fixture style light, and that's probably my favorite thing about them. So many years ago in the aquarium industry, lighting your tank was as simple as, do you have a four foot tank? Then buy a four foot light. Do you have a two foot tank? Then buy a two foot light. Now we see a lot more pendant lights like the UFO we showed earlier, but what really makes this awesome is if you get a two foot Zet light light in the Q Maven series, it'll light up pretty much any standard two foot tank very well for any kind of coral you could want. If you have a three foot tank, the three foot light will do a great job lighting it up. And if you have a four foot tank, the four foot lights do a great job of lighting it up. One light means one power cord, only one thing you're gonna have to plug into the wall. This looks really clean and we get customers all the time who are gonna prefer a single light fixture over multiple pendants just because of that simplicity of knowing you have a single light. What I also like about this light is it's IP67 water resistance. 
Now what that means is this light should not be used underwater. It is not a truly waterproof light. But I have seen this at trade shows with sprinklers sprinkling on it all day and the light was fine. So this is something where if you do happen to splash it by accident or if you accidentally bump it in really quick and pull it out of the water, it should be fine. It's very durable. It also has no fans. So fans would choke up in that water. It has no fans. That makes it a little bit more longer lasting because fans are often one of the most common things to fail. And also, it means there's no noise at all. You're not gonna hear any fan noise like you do with many fan-cooled LED lights because it's completely passive. And all those things together make this a really awesome light. It also has built-in Wi-Fi control. There's no need to get a separate Wi-Fi control that you can control the light. You can control all the ZET light lights through the Horizon Aqua app, which is available for Android or iOS. And that'll allow you to set the ramp up and ramp down throughout the day, as well as a moonlight for the lights. And it keeps things pretty simple. Now, these lights do come in a two foot, three foot, and four foot version. If you do have a really long tank, like a six foot or an eight foot tank, then you're probably gonna use two, but it's very difficult to make a light fixture quite that big. But for most people with small to medium sized tanks, one light is all you need to light it up for pretty much any kind of coral you can want. All right, we're now gonna do a brief tutorial on how to use the Horizon Aqua app, which is the app that controls the Wi-Fi ZET light lights. Again, almost all the lights from ZET light are Wi-Fi controlled, except for the economy version of their Lancia LEDs. In the video, I'm gonna use this light here, which is the Marine Space Lancia light. It's a two-channel controllable light. The only difference between this light and the other lights like the Q-Maven and the UFO are gonna be when you're initially finding the light's Wi-Fi, instead of the Wi-Fi address being labeled Lancia, it'll be labeled Q-Maven or UFO. And then when you're programming the light channels, instead of just two channels like this, you're gonna get four channels. on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. So hopefully this will help you Then you're going to want to get your device that you're going to control. In this case, we're using one of the ZetLite Lancia LED lights. We're gonna plug that light in, the light should flash, and then stop, that's perfectly fine. The light is good, it's just waiting on instructions from the app. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is open the app itself. All right, I'm gonna rotate my phone really quick, and there we are. Now the first thing it's asking us to do is log in with our email address and password. What this will do is this will basically keep a record of our settings. So if I wanna control the light with my iPad or tablet, as well as my phone, it'll remember the settings and the light in both platforms. In this case, I'm gonna skip it because I'm just using this tablet to control the, to control the light. And we come to this screen here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to connect to the Wi-Fi network that the light emits. So these ZET light products emit their own Wi-Fi network. In order to find it, we're gonna open the settings of our device and go to the Wi-Fi settings. And there we see this Wi-Fi network here that's Lancia followed by a bunch of numbers. This is the Wi-Fi network for the Lancia LEDs. It'll be different for the Q-Maven and the network itself will have the, the name specified in the instructions for your device. We're now connecting to it. This time it didn't prompt me for a password. If it does prompt you for a password, the password for both the Q-Maven and Lancia um, LED lights is going to be eight zeros. Going to get this message that internet is unavailable that's fine because it's not true internet it's just connecting to the device we're then going to go back to the app now these icons down below represent different types of equipment that the app is finding you can see that this one is highlighted for led and that's because the app has found the led light so we're going to select that you can see here it has the lancia listed so we're going to select that once again all right, this is where we can start programming our Lancia LED light. Now to make changes to the lights program, we're gonna first press this lock, and that has unlocked the settings so we can adjust it. Up at the top of this graph are five icons. These represent the five different timestamps that we can set throughout the day. 
So this one in the far left is gonna represent what time you want the lights to turn on. Comes preset at 5.30 a.m. That's pretty early for me, so I'm gonna move it back a bit. I'm just gonna press the time setting here. And I've opened right up to where I can adjust the settings. Now for me, I don't want my lights to turn on until about 10 a.m. So we're gonna to go to 10 and then scroll through this back to zero and that'll be our start time. And then the next setting is the end time. So each of these color settings is gonna last for a predetermined amount of time and then it'll switch to the next setting that we have programmed. In this case, I want this one to last for two hours from 10 a.m. to noon and then we'll resume with the next setting. Once we have the time that we want the setting to work with done, we're gonna press OK. It's been saved and set. And down below we have this graph. This graph represents the color of the light during that timestamp. Now for me, I like it a rather dim light. The B channel here is what's gonna represent blue and the A channel is what's gonna represent white. The Q-Maven lights will have four channels. They all represent different colors of LED. Now you can adjust these LED points and when they're adjusted, the light will display what setting you have set here. That way you can get an idea of what it looks like. So if I look at the light, determine it's a little too blue or a little too white, I can adjust the sliders appropriately. And then once we're done and we believe we have the color and time set correctly, we go up to the top, we're gonna to choose the next time setting. In this case, it's going from noon to 1.30, which is fine. However, I don't really like the color settings that they've chosen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the blues because I like things pretty blue. I'm gonna go to 50% on the blue channel. And then we're gonna adjust the whites to 25. I just tend to like things a little bit bluer myself. 48 will work just fine. We're then gonna to go to the next. This is our noon setting. I want this at full power, so I'm gonna put both the blue and white channels up to full power, so I have a nice bright day setting. You can see this setting is already programmed to last quite a while, from 1.30 to 6.30 it looks like. The app uses military time, so you do need to be aware of that. 18.30 is 6.30. Then we're then gonna to go to the next setting. And this is where it starts to come down in the evening. I'm gonna adjust it once again. I'm gonna do 10% white and 50% blue here. And I'm okay with the time setting till 11 p.m. Now this is the moonlight setting, so it goes from 11 to 3.30 in the morning. I don't really like any white in my moonlight, and I actually like a very dim moonlight, so I'm just gonna leave it at 1% blue. All right, so we should have the color and timestamps programmed as far as which colors you want displayed at what time throughout the day. But then I'm gonna go to the bottom and click the Save button. All right, now the settings have been saved, the light has been programmed, it's gonna go through this cycle every day um, dimming up and down to the colors that we've specified, which is great. Now there are two more things we can do. We can add either lighting, lightning or cloudiness or cloud cover. To add either of these, we we'll simply click on that icon. We can then specify what the duration of the cloudiness or lightning is going to be. I'm going to put 15 minutes and then how often we want it to happen throughout the day. I'm gonna say 10 times. I'm gonna put okay. Now we'll have a cloudy cycle 10 times. We can then go to lightning and do the same thing. However, unfortunately, we can only do lightning or cloudiness. We cannot apply both. Even you, you also cannot specify when exactly it's gonna happen. It's somewhat randomized, only the frequency or the likeliness of it happening and the duration. So now that these are set, there's one more thing that we're gonna do, and that's gonna be connecting the ZET Light light to our home Wi-Fi network. So if you remember when we accessed the app initially, we had to go to our Wi-Fi settings, find the Wi-Fi that the Lancia light is emitting itself, and connect to that. 
Well, that can be kind of a nuisance since our phones are going to connect to our home Wi-Fi network normally. And then we have to log out of that, log into the light one, control it, then log out of it again and back into our home network. That can get kind of troublesome. So what we're going to do now is set up the light so that is connected to our home network. This way, anytime we're connected to our home Wi-Fi network, we can control the light. To do that, you're going to want to go up to the top corner where these three bars are and you're going to press Wi-Fi settings. Take a little bit to load. Now what this has done is it's just searched for what Wi-Fi is available in my area. In this case, I'm going to use my phone as a hotspot connect to that. So I'm going to click Jaren's iPhone, enter my password. All right, and we got the message connected successfully to Jaren's iPhone. We're then gonna go back. You notice right now it's still transitioning over to my iPhone. So we're gonna go back into our settings. It looks like we are connected to that network. In this case, it would be your home network. Open up the app. And it takes a few minutes for things to come up. But what should happen is eventually this LED icon should be lit up and then we'll be able to connect back to the light. I'm just going to wait a few minutes while it works itself out and discovers that light. All right, so after a few minutes, the LED tile has lit up again and that's because the light has become detectable on my home network. So I can click back in, select the light. And control it just as before. Now, anytime I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi network, I should be able to simply open the app, select the light and start controlling it. And that's all that there is to it. If you have any questions about the Zet Light Aquarium lights, which one's right for you or how they work, please feel free to reach out to support at marineandreef.com.